The issue of a federal abortion ban came up in the debate this week, including the comments that you made here on this program last month. Take a look. If such a piece of legislation landed on Donald Trump's desk, would he veto it? Well, I think it'd be very clear he would not support it. I mean, he but said he that veto explicitly. It? Yeah, I, th I mean, if you're not supporting it as the president of the United States, you fundamentally so have to veto, veto it. So he would veto a federal abortion ban? I think he would. He said that explicitly that he would. And then, Senator, here's what Donald Trump said on the debate stage. Would you veto a na national abortion ban if it well, came to Well, I won't have to. But if I could just get a yes or no, because your running mate, Gen J.D. Vance, has said that you would veto it if it did come to your desk. Well, I didn't discuss it with uh, J.D., in all fairness. Uh, J.D., uh, and I, I don't mind if he has a certain view, but I think he was speaking for me, but I really didn't. Senator Vance, just to clarify, once and for all, if Donald Trump were to be elected, if a federal abortion ban were to land on his desk, would he veto it? Well, Kristen, as you saw the president say, he, we hadn't discussed it. We still haven't discussed it, by the way, because it's not realistic, Kristen. I think that was the point that he made during the debate is he's been incredibly clear that he doesn't support a national abortion ban. He wants abortion policy to be made by the states because he thinks, look, Alabama is going to make a different decision from California, and that's okay. We're a big country. We can disagree. The best way to actually facilitate us coming together, despite that disagreement, is by allowing each individual's individual state to make their own abortion policy. So I think President Trump has been clear a national abortion ban is not on the table. He wouldn't support it. He wouldn't he wouldn't sign it. And I, I think, frankly, Kristen, it's kind of a ridiculous hypothetical, because if a national abortion ban was brought before the United States Senate right now, it would get at best 10 senators out of 100. So I think we should talk about issues that actually might come before the, United, the president, like our approach to lowering energy prices, to lowering grocery prices, to making housing more affordable which all have gone in the wrong direction under Kamala Harris's policies. His point is that it was a hypothetical and not a hypothetical that has any chance of actually crossing his desk. I, I take your point, but, but just to put a fine point on this, you're saying he wouldn't support it. So would he veto it? Chris, and I think that I've learned my lesson on speaking for the president before he and I have actually talked about an issue. What he has said at the debate, which is quite explicit, is he doesn't support a national ban. He thinks it's ridiculous to talk about vetoing a piece of legislation that isn't going to come before the president in the first place. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.